Howdy, James here from Kixinami, and I'm back there in the review. In front of me, I have a pair of Adidas Sambas. A little bit different compared to kind of the normal Sambas that we're seeing everybody rocking. This is a pair of Adidas Sambas XLG, which certainly just means that they're extra large. Uh, they kind of came on the Adidas website uh, at the beginning of the month. Um, not really seen much talk about them, which is kind of interesting seeing as the amount of hype that we have for the Adidas Sambas at the moment. But we're going to take them out of the box, take a look at them. I will compare them to a kind of regular pair of Sambas. Um, so we can see the difference, um, and we'll see what you guys think. Okay, so starting with the box, a uh, little bit different. Most of the Adidas Sambas that kind of I bought has come in like the regular kind of Adidas Originals blue box. Um, here we're getting kind of like a old school um, regular cardboard box with obviously Adidas's logo and writing across all sides of it, um, which is a nice change. Okay, so here it is. Here is the Adidas Samba XLG. So this is the first time I'm getting my eyes on it too. Um, and really it is just a really kind of puffed up version of the Adidas Samba. Adidas Samba is obviously a fairly like slim silhouette um, and all aspects of the shoe have essentially kind of been um, almost inflated. Um, I know that Adidas did a kind of a collaboration with Montclair, kind of like the uh, um, what do you call it, outdoor skiing kind of brand and made a bunch of like puffed up shoes with essentially like a North Face puffer jacket but in a shoe and it kind of gives me a similar feeling but just not to the same extent. Um, so as you can see, so I went with the white color base. Um, they came in two colors. They came in the white one and the black one. I'm sure there'll be more colors in the future. But for now, you're going to get your kind of white base leather with then like a nice um, gum sole. I know that they came out with the Sambays, which was kind of like a um, Samba in kind of like a woman's version that had like more of a platform um, crepe sole. Um, this is not so much of a platform sole. This is just a kind of thicker, rubbier version. Um, Almost kind of like a like a skate shoe esque, where they've kind of with the Nike Dunk, for example, with the Nike SB, you get like the padded tongue. It kind of gives you the same kind of vibe um, as that. I know that they did this also in a Stan Smith, um, which was quite interesting, and then also in a Superstar, which didn't really look too much different. So, if I take your regular Samba, so this is your regular Samba in my hand, and here I have um, the kind of the Samba Classic that was in collaboration with Kith, um, and if you kind of put them side by side. I'll take some better photos, but you can kind of see that it is very much more um, kind of slimmed down in this version um, compared to kind of like the thicker version. Uh, most notably, which I'll take uh, is like really the tongue and just how wide the shoe is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take some on foot shots of them, um, kind of wearing one regular kit, um, Samba, the kit model um, with the green on the back. And then one I'll have on the other foot, I'll have the uh, Samba XOG to kind of give you a Kind of on foot difference um, of what they look like um, but let me know what you think of the shoe um, I actually kind of like it I might check into the Stan Smith version too um, I do know that kind of like the the thicker kind of what he skateboard type shoe feel is kind of I guess coming back um, I guess shout out to um, Bad Bunny and kind of all the stuff that he did um, with his forums um, his campuses and so forth that kind of were the same model just a lot thicker so again um, please hit that subscribe button um, share it, like it, comment on it. Um, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'll happily ask them, answer them. Um, other than that, I'll be back with another review soon. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So go behold, frostbite they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up, got too little time, I'ma live up 